Hey, everybody. So uh, I'm going to leave a one-star review for Bit.ly because Bit.ly is very inconsiderate. What they did when making their business is they made the name of their URL, their service, their company, one letter off from the word bitch. And because of that, I now have a new one-star Yelp review. So many of you have been asking in the AMAs. I've been getting this question for years now. What was your funniest customer experience? What was your best customer experience? What was your worst customer experience? This is honestly all of them rolled into one, and I really want to thank the individual that left this Yelp review for genuinely brightening the day of everybody who works at this company. This is the best review I've ever gotten. So just to give you an idea of what, <laughs> what went on here, so somebody called, and they were trying to figure out what was wrong with their MacBook. Now they had the flex gate issue that I've talked about in uh, many of these videos where the flex cable for the LCD screen backlight is too short. So when you move the screen back and forth, after a certain amount of time the backlight flex dies because Apple, and when that happens then the entire display assembly has to be replaced. Apple will charge you over 550 bucks for it, sometimes 450 depending on, wh on where you go. And this individual had went to an Apple store that gave them that price. Now I told them, you know, I politely cut them off and said that is not something you should have to pay for. This is not something Thing that you're that that we are going to bill you for because Apple does it for free. There's no point in paying me to do it because even if I do replace that display assembly, I'm going to be putting in another one that has the exact same problem and it's going to die. Or you could have them put in a new one for free. And the call was kind of breaking up, so I decided. So rather than read them this entire thing over here, support.apple.com/13/-inch/MacBook/Pro/ blah blah blah. I decided to make a short link over here, and the short link that I made was bit dot Lee slash you lied to me, which is what Apple essentially did, and that redirects to this page. And the call was kind of going in and out. At some point, I couldn't hear them. And after about five minutes of trying to save this individual from spending $450 at the Apple Store Genius Bar that was clearly lying to her about what this should cost, because again, this is something they recall for free, and this is something I talk about a lot, where they try to avoid the stuff that is on their own company website. I you know, the, the, the call dropped out. So the interpretation of it was this. Called the other day twice, was trying to figure out what was wrong with my MacBook. Apple was telling me one thing, they were telling me another. I got told to type in a URL. Quote, bitch, you lied to me. Then the other guy on the phone pretended the phone was breaking up. Nice customer service. His response, no one wants to hear fake excuses, not how you run a business. I had three other people on the call with me and we were all baffled that he did that. And I, ty I uh, typed out my response. Firstly, I was not telling you, bitch, you lied to me, et cetera. It was a URL. Uh, I, I know I assumed, obviously, you know, I assumed the best. Maybe you didn't hear exactly what I was saying. Maybe I, um, I'm, you know, maybe there was a misunderstanding because of a bad phone connection. But after I gave a very polite explanation and I got this, uh, I, I, I couldn't help myself. So here is, <laughs> anyway, uh, so to answer that question from now and most likely to the end of time, this was my best customer service experience ever. I did my best to save an Apple user $450. I did my best to save an Apple user from getting ripped off by the Apple store. The thanks I get. But the, the, the hour and a half that half of the store here has spent laughing over this was worth it. Thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate that phone call and I really do appreciate this review. I can't stop smiling. I'm sorry. I know. I'm a two-year-old. That's it for today, and as always, <laughs> you learned something.